Hi, this is Norris Thomas at the 2015 NFL Baskets of Hope. I'll tell you what, right behind me are pallets and pallets of toys and baskets that's going to go to children all over across the country from this great event at the Super Bowl in Glendale, Arizona. I'll tell you what, we're going to speak with Angela Burnett, coordinator of Baskets of Hope, and she's going to tell us a little bit about all the great help and the volunteers that came out to help here in the Valley today. Of hope, and we started the organization in St. Louis 20 years ago. So we're celebrating 20 years of giving hope, and it started when our daughter completed treatment for cancer, for treatment uh, for, for bone cancer, and uh, she's, she was seven years old. And we just felt like it was important to go and visit kids in the hospital and bring them a gift from the community, as well as gifts for the parents. And so we started the Basket of Hope program. Um, Kurt Warner got involved there in St. Louis. And, he introduced the program to Tony Dungy, and so the program kind of grew through the NFL and had more and more NFL players actually going in and visiting these kids in the hospital. So it's really impactful for those kids. It was making lifelong memories, and they just they love the baskets, and the parents love the tote bags for them. And um, so the program began to grow. And in 2012, Tony Dungy, with Riley Hospital for Children, introduced the Super Baskets of Hope program, which packed thousands of baskets at one time and shipped them to all the NFL cities and other cities and had local players delivering the baskets. And so that's how the Super Baskets program began. It really started for me. I was coaching uh, with the Indianapolis Colts back uh, 2003, 2004, and got a letter from Kurt Warner and a call, and he said, this is a great uh, thing. We're doing it here in St. Louis. I think it's something you might like to do. And when he explained the program and delivering baskets to kids who are in the hospital, and not just giving them toys, but sharing Bible verses and giving them a little bit of hope, uh, I said, this is pretty awesome. Uh, we got a chance to do it one time and uh, I was hooked. Uh, just made such a difference in our team's lives, going in, taking some of our players, and just visiting with kids who uh, just were so overjoyed to see them. Uh, once I did it one time, so this is, this is going to be fun. You know, I, I've been blessed by God to have a great platform. I have a, a beautiful family now, and um, I can only imagine if one of my children was sick and in the hospital and uh, having to deal with that. So anytime we can come and help out the parents as well as the kids, kind of relieve some of that uh, anxiety or worry about being here and dealing with what they're dealing with, uh, it's a pleasure and uh, it's a real blessing. To have. You know, I had no idea what it was going to be like to come to Phoenix from St. Louis with all this, uh, all these baskets to pack. We sent 100 pallets. And I actually had dreams of just me showing up to pack all these baskets, you know, so we didn't know where the volunteers were going to come from. The Super Bowl committee, they brought in 250 volunteers. This vineyard church who offered their facilities for us, they brought in over probably 350 volunteers. And, you know, uh, FedEx brought in over 50. So it just started adding up, and then, then we had over 700 volunteers show up throughout this weekend. So this is the biggest fun. Uh, volume of volunteers that I personally ever worked with and it's just been overwhelming. This city is just so welcoming and everyone's such hard workers and these people are so friendly. We've been working them so hard and they just keep smiling and it's just amazing, you know. So I love this community and uh, Glendale's just been great, you know, a lot of the restaurants have donated food and things for these families and, and all these volunteers so we just, we just love this community. So this is just the beginning of all the action of the Super Bowl this week up here in Glendale, Arizona. These baskets are going to get loaded on these FedEx trucks, and the destination is happiness. At the Baskets of Hope in Glendale, Arizona, this is Norris Thomas. It's the perfect night in the state of Arizona for the perfect game. Chandler Hamilton versus the Chandler Wolves. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Norris Thomas with Max Preps at the game, viewed by the G-Series. Hey, what more can you ask for than a second-round matchup between the number one rated Huskies and the number nine rated Chandler Wolves? Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Norris Thomas with Max Preps at the game, viewed by the G-Series. Tonight, a 5A2 matchup between two highly touted teams coming in tonight. The Sorrel Sabercats come in at 7-1 and one on the evening, looking to take out the Tempe Buffaloes. They come in at 3-4. and four. For the Sabre Cats tonight, Mike Hauser, he's a guard, and also Matt Hauser, number 12. Those two guards are going to lead the attack. Also, big number 44, Cliff Mark, in the middle for. Hello, this is Norris Thomas with Max Preps at the game presented by Playtech Sport. Hey, tonight is a night of champions in the state of Arizona for track and field. Division 1, Division 2, Division 3, and Division 4. They've changed the classification, so now we can add a lot of champions and different classifications to combine together. Hey, it's going to be a great night of action. Look forward to seeing you, and here's some of the highlights from this year's state championships for the AIA in Arizona. From an estimated sold-out stadium here at Sun Devil Stadium in Tempe, Arizona, nothing disappointed tonight. Both quarterbacks were red hot. 
Nick Foles got injured late in the fourth quarter, but his backup comes in and makes a great play to Kreiner. Kreiner comes in for the touchdown, and then it was up to ASU to make their last stand. Block Oshwater's pass falls incomplete at the goal line, giving Arizona the win tonight in the 85th Annual Territorial Cup. At Pac-12 Football, this has been Norris Thomas. Have a great night, and we'll see you next time. We end the season where we begin at beautiful University of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Norris Thomas with Max Preps at the game, Duke by the G-Series. Today you have 5A Division One action between the Hamilton Huskies and the Desert Mr. Thunder. The Huskies come in with a nation leading 53 straight wins, looking for 54, but most importantly today, seven state championships on the line in the past nine years in their appearances. Coach Dan Hines from Desert Vista has his team climb over here a couple years ago, but lost the trophy. They've also lost to Hamilton early in the year, so we have two familiar foes in today's state championship game. The fly sweep is on hand for the, for the uh, Desert Vista Thunder. Dan Hines is looking for Mike Garadano to lead both sides of the ball on offense and on defense. He's a fullback and linebacker. Hunter Rodriguez is going to have to spread the ball around. Look for Caleb Jebonero on the fly sweep. He's been a successful taking some sweeps and some pass plays from Hunter Rodriguez. For the Huskies, uh, this is familiar territory for them. Looking for number four now. They've got three in a row looking for number four. The names are familiar. Blake Kemp, Kendall Taylor. Those names are all familiar to everyone. But defensively, Calvin Thomas with Jackson Hunt on the defense along with Reggie Daniels. This looks to be another great